Welcome back, everybody. This is episode 46 of the Road to the Top series. I am Stay Toasty. And we have made it to this point somehow. Somehow, despite our terrible month of October, despite not tying a game since January, we have made this point. We have uh won the last two games. We lost against Sporting. Uh tough game. Uh they scored early and we we're always kind of behind. They were up uh 2-0. We uh, they were up we were actually tied and they were up 3-1. Came back again, we dominated the game. Um we were the better team. We just didn't show it on the day. Um, didn't put it all together. I thought we were going to make a run there. I mean, down, down the stretch, we were, we had everything going for us. So, unfortunately, we didn't, that we didn't get the win there. We came back as all of it is. Ed, fully gated. Sorry. My bad. Thomas Jitty is not human. He's not human. It's really, uh, I've discovered this now. Um, you know, former Man City product i did not know that um so i guess he does have some kind of quality uh man city then he got loaned out ended up in portugal somehow and um ended up with us so uh you know not saying that he's a world leader but you know they know what they're doing man city i think um so we won this game 3-0 a uh, great game by agd obviously to have a hat trick from midfield, not even an attacking midfield area or um, anything like that. Um, another another great win, another great performance. Um, puts us in a position today. Um, we have a slight buffer, um, one point between us and Nagida. Um, like I was saying, uh, uh, Fremund were ahead of us. They fall off completely, and I said it might end up being that Agatha is the team that we're gonna keep fighting with. I mean, they're they're right behind us. I don't think they've lost a game in a while, um, or dropped points because, um, considering yeah, they've you know where if we've lost the game, they've tied that their game. They beat Slikes of Fremont. They're going up against Bifiga Bay today, which is good for us. But I want to get the res I want to get the result. I want to I want to show them. I want to show everybody that we are ready to be in the first division. That we have the quality to be there. Uh, so I uh, let's just not linger anymore. Let's just get in the starting lineup right now. Alright guys, so this is going to be our, our lineup. Uh, as you can see, we have one gigantic deficiency. That's we do not have a right back. Both. Uh, Vashkruz got is out with suspension. Uh, Brandu is out injured after the season. Um, so we're sticking Serrano at... Uh, that's who my assistant suggested. Um... That's just that's just that's just how it's gonna have to be today. <laughs> Everything else is pretty much the same. Um, Mutero's back, Silva's back. Uh, I was wondering if they were ever actually. Uh, no, they were after four or five weeks. Uh, I, I wasn't sure if they were gonna be back, but they are. So that's good for us. Um, a pretty normal bench. Uh, Hugh Firmino's have been out with an injury, another knock. Uh, so this is going to be our lineup today, and, uh, you know, coming up against Le Chion's team, that's near the bottom of the table, lucky for us, uh, Agueda are playing Benfica V, uh, who are near the top of the table. Um, but like I said, I want to win this game, we should win this game, I think, I think we have the quality, um, and also, you know, in the other game... Benfica bid aren't playing for anything. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, they want a good position in the league, but they pretty much have at this point. Um, 
It's just about where they pretty much finish. Um, like Shungs are playing, they're gonna be in the relegation. They're at least they're fighting to not be in direct relegation to at least be in a playoff. So we need to watch out for that as well. Uh, you know, there's a lot of X factors today for sure. Um, I have a highlight here: Shikinyu, Mbok, uh, cleared out. Goes back to their goalkeeper. Out to the ish at the, the left back. Finds their striker somehow. And uh, that's fine. That's fine with us. If he, they keep doing that, we'll be, um, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Shots from outside the area. Uh, this is gonna be a very hard wrenching game. Uh, this has been like three. Well a few weeks of real-time work, three years of uh, work in-game to kind of get to this point. I mean, we were trying really hard to to get there. Highlight here. Litka. Please! Please! Who else? Who else? Well, it could have been Nezhidi. But who else? Uh, um, and he scores the goal. Great assist by Litka. Litka gets past, man, gets a little bit of space here. And puts a ball in, but it's just a great finish. Um, top draw there for sure. And we're up 1 0. Uh, very important goal. Uh, you know, we have to maintain this. Uh, Correa in here. Uh, Foster, goalkeeper Villar. Uh, Perez! Perez! Scores his second of the game. A huge mistake by their goalkeeper Villar. Um, that's probably why they're in this position, just dumb mistakes, but Pareid just paying attention, finds, <laughs> comes out of nowhere, uh, great instincts by the, by the striker, uh, and we're up 2-0, and uh, thank God, thank God, um, great performance so far by us, um, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna ruin their mojo. Just go out there. Just finish this game. Let's get back in the first division, uh, where this team uh, belongs. Um, you know, lady, I've had uh, years of problems, um, financial issues, and stuff like that. But I'm happy that we're we're getting back up there. Um, and considering how unlikely it was a few months ago. Walterson, oh, almost scores a third. Almost scores a third. We are playing great. We are playing like a team that deserves to get promoted. Um, I was going to say something. Um, uh, it's interesting to see that, that Lithka, Lithka's playing pretty well. Um, obviously got the assist on the first goal. Um, I, obviously, I don't think he's going to be good enough to play uh, in the first division next year. Ooh. Uh, but I'm really happy for him. I mean, for a guy that I didn't think was going to be playing much, I thought he was a, a backup player, a uh, spot player here and there, you know, really working to bring in somebody else. But he's performed pretty well, and I'm happy to have him on the on the squad. Um, half hour left here. I give and Benfica B uh, all tied up. So... You know, we have a, you know, a little bit of a, it's going to be a little bit gun-wrenching near the end here. Uh, but we have the two-goal two goal lead, which is all that we need right now. I'm um, going to bring on Lureru and Kamachi. Uh, for the players on uh, yellow, make sure we don't get anybody sent off here. That would really put a, a hamper on on the game. Kind of put unnecessary pressure on the rest of the team. Uh, another highlight here. Kamachi, Perez, uh, Kamachi. Uh, falls to, it's going to end up with their striker. Uh, he beats Almeida. And Luis Zon does a good job coming across. <clears throat> uh, Carvalho. 
Buzet, Mbok, Figueiredo, uh, Anderson Correa. Oh, and they have uh, come. Uh, they're within a goal now. So, with a minute to go, uh, Montero comes out for it. Completely does not reach it. There was three players. And they get beat to the ball. Uh, Litka. Whistle could come at any second here. Litka, Kamachi, Lureiru, Teixeira. Ooh, and he almost scores a third. Okay, okay, guys, come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's finish off this game. We have, we have done it. We have done it. <sighs> wow. That was a great win for us. We have got promoted. Let's just, just make sure. Uh, until I've, it has officially announced, I'm, I'm kind of unsure about it. But let's let's just make sure uh, here in a couple seconds. All right, guys. It can now be confirmed. Young Lady will be playing in the Liga Nauj next season. Um, Wow. Wow, I'm very happy. Um, we're gonna have, and I'm also happy that we're gonna have a little bit of a, a little bit of a budget. Surprisingly, usually teams that are in Portugal do not get much. I mean, we probably, we're still probably gonna be playing a little bit with scraps next season. Um, there's gonna be a lot of changes in the squad. Uh, you're, you know, they're not gonna probably not. Uh, there's some players you're not gonna see. Um. I love Rui Teixeira, but I think he's going to be coming back up at this point. Uh, Ajidi has had a great season. I don't know if he can do it two years in a row, especially with moving up a season. Uh, Walterson's going to be around, I think. But it is probably going to be around. Uh, Litka, good player. I don't know if he's going to be at least a starter. So he's gonna, definitely going to be a backup. We're definitely having, to, definitely having to bring in somebody else there. Uh, Correa is good enough, I think, to play in the first division, best player this season. And he's played there before with the likes of Boavista. Center backs, probably going to have a completely new center back partnership. Padev might, actually, Padev might be gone. Uh, he, somebody came in for him. I said, I denied it. He said, why? The whole story, and now basically the asking price for him is, uh, a half a million euros so he might be gone if somebody comes in for him he's had a great season uh he might be the is he the lead lead goal scorer um in the division he's somewhere up there i think uh he is uh 22 goals uh best striker in the division i think uh definitely got definitely helped himself with some great performances on the stretch there um anderson correa is one of the better players in the division He's been great, uh, great signing, probably the signing of the season. Actually, I'm going to look at, I'm going to simulate a little bit forward to the end of the season awards just so I can show you guys uh, everything. Uh, but yeah, see, he's played in the in the first division for a couple years. So player with a little bit of pedigree there. Um, so yeah, let's look, let's simulate a little bit forward and see the end of the season awards. All right, guys, so this is... Uh, 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 I keep saying it, rewards. I don't know why. <laughs> these are end of season awards. Uh, these are now our best eleven. Uh, the likes of Lysenko, uh, Luleiru, Walterson, and Correa have now been added uh, to the bench. Uh, not much has changed as far as uh, first team. Current players like Silva, Perez, Firmino, Rui Teixeira, Luleiru. These Almeida, Vash Cruz, um, no, Benet's still in there, Ikic, um, Talika, Amian, um, so that's, you know, fun to see, uh, Ajidi, fans player of the season, uh, can't, you know, can't, didn't know, say no to that, uh, he's had an amazing season, uh, Anderson Correa, second, 
but a JD purely for the fact that I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. I brought him in as just a backup, as just a player uh, to have in there, but he's performed well. Took uh, Loredo's spot right from under him and was great. Uh, Paredes, gold season. We'll check that in a second. Uh, Montero, uh, signing of the season. Uh, I would have I would have gone with Correa, but Montero's been great. Uh, he has been very good. Um, you know, and he has some space for improvement. So, you know, maybe for for both performance and potential, he was a great signing. Um, hasn't really improved much this this year, but we'll see. Uh, Paredes gets young player of the season. Um, again, I think, I feel like he's gotten it a few times, uh, still, still 124, he's been with the team a few, uh, a few years, I think this is, what's his, what is his third season with us? So only second season, actually, uh, but he had a very similar season last year, um, obviously it was more goals, but less assists, similar player of the matches, a similar rating, uh, definitely a pretty consistent player, I mean, not consistent, uh, season to season he's consistent, Per game, sometimes he'll go on a rut, but uh, a good player of the season. Uh, season review, obviously, uh, match of the season was 4-1 against Sporting. We lost 5-2 against Verzim. That was in our amazing October. Uh, very low attendance. Hopefully, that'll be going up next year. That will be in a higher division. Um, kind of mid, mid amount of players used. Let's look at the goal of the season. This is the goal of the season here. Uh, Paredes brings it down amazingly. Uh, pretty good strike. I mean, the, the assist is what kind of made it, I think, there. But uh, surprised not to see Silva's goal from a few weeks ago in there. But, uh, you know, still a great goal. 5-1 victory. Uh, great game from Paredes all around. Uh, but, yeah, guys, I mean, we've made it. We've done it. We've got ourselves promoted. Uh, I would have never expected that a while ago, but we put in some great performances at the, at the end of the season. A um, lot of wins, obviously. No, I don't know why I was doing that. Um, lots of wins, obviously not a lot of ties, not a lot of draws at the end. But, God, that's a lot of wins. A lot of great performances. I think we're the highest scoring team in the division. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I think it's well-deserved considering – you know, how bad we were there for a while to, to kind of pull ourselves up uh, and make sure we got ourselves to this point is amazing. Very proud. Thank you guys for being here through this journey with me. Uh, come back tomorrow with a brand new season, a brand new division, lots of new things uh, to come see. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for this season. It was great. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And stay toasty, my friends.